Hello, welcome back to the channel. That's me and Ben back out again. Uh, it's Halloween, Halloween night, Halloween afternoon, Halloween evening. We uh, decided to come back down to Black Valley County Kerry. Uh, we're in a different location in the Black Valley this time, uh, a wee bit more shelter. Um, by the looks of the weather, or the weather we had on the way on the trip down, oh my god, it was horrendous. Uh, we thought to ourselves, are we right in the, are we right in the head? But we persevered, and just as we were coming on the outskirts of Clary up towards Mulls Gap, the clouds just disappeared and the sun came out, so the wind has died down, so yeah. That was rather nice. That's the thing about County Kerry, it can uh, change in a heartbeat. It can go from here, nice sunny blue skies, to torrential rain and gale force winds. Then the sun comes out and it all goes away. So we had the pleasure of the company of Marion Kennedy on the way down. We met Marion, uh, she had just uh, done a camp at the top of uh, Karen Toll and she would have had an absolutely, well she did have, she was telling us, an absolutely horrendous night, absolutely horrendous night with the wind and the rain. Uh, I think she was like a, although the, the, her tent held up, but a bit of a drowned rat on the way back down again. So Miriam, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again sometime, so. Ben's just taking Juno for a walk. Taking advantage of the uh, the stop in the rain. I'm talking bollocks here. <laughs> so we're in the Polish Lavu size two. When I say we, I mean me. Uh, outbagger wood burning stove installed inside. Got this wee fire guard here, or a wee pipe guard. Very, very, very handy indeed when the when the uh, the flue is piping hot. That remains quite cold. Um, the good thing about canvas, especially the Polish Army uh, Lavu canvas, the best way to waterproof it is just to let it get soaked. Now, there was quite a heavy shower earlier and it just beads off and it's actually bone dry inside. Okay, you'll grant it, you'll get a few wee bits of rain coming down the side of the sleeve there, but as soon as it hits the outbacker, tsht, instant sauna inside. <laughs> Bit of a mess inside and there's no light in there at the minute, so what I'll do is later on when I'm hitting the sack, uh, a few beverages later, uh, I will light the outbacker, warm the place up and uh, do a bit of tidying up <laughs> and show you around inside. So I'll talk to you later from the lavoo at bedtime uh, for those of you who want to see inside it. So meanwhile we are just, or Ben's just uh, cooking up a nice stew. For, uh, for us for later on. So we're just going to sit back, relax, take it easy, have a few beverages and see what the night brings.
So Ben has just put the, the final touches to this evening's stew and it smells absolutely delicious. Don't forget mate, this is Halloween night tonight. In the wilds of County Kerry, waiting on the stew to finish. How long has it been now? Three hours. Three hours, so we're looking forward to this. I'm certainly looking forward to it. I want to give a few, a couple of shout outs to subscribers to my channel. I'm also subscribed to their channel. Just a couple, I think I had a list, and I had a list of questions from a forum that Ben and I are on. Of course I left it at home. So, subscribers who come to mind, and whose channels I enjoy watching, I don't know whether any of the ones that I shout out here you would be subscribed to. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple who do uh, trips around Scotland. And that's Michelle and Spike. Out and about in Scotland. Because that woman can talk for uh, Scotland since she can. But they, they have recently got into van life. They got a, a sprinter. Camp van. You can stand up in that one, that one so you can. <laughs> they, they go they go around Sky and they go all around Scotland and whatnot. They own. It's addictive viewing for me, so it is. Uh, and I nearly got a chance to meet them when I was on Sky. When I was on Sky, towards the end of the trip, I decided I was going to stay on the Rassi Hotel on the Isle of Rassi, it's a distillery. Hotel that has its own distillery, that <laughs> cool would that be? But just by fluke, I decided I would go on the I'd go to the Sconser Lodge, which is directly beside the little ferry port where you get the ferry over to Rassi Island. And after watching a couple of Michelle's videos, I realised that I was in having the breakfast in the Sconser Lodge Hotel. They were actually. 100 metres away at the little ferry port and they were on their way to do a bit of a bike trip around Rassay Island and I actually have a video and well Michelle I'll put this at the very end of this vlog I'll put the, uh, the video I captured of you sailing off past the front of my hotel over to Rassay <laughs> what a coincidence but yeah, sometimes definitely want to meet up. Yeah, with you and Spike. So it's looking like that. Oh, it's coming on deliciously. It's rather deliciously. I fell on the floor. That's why it's a bit crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I know you it probably did. Mm -hmm. But um, it did. definitely meet up with you and Spike. Spike also has a channel called uh, Hover Shark, where he uh, features his drone footage on these trips. We're working with sub. Jerry McVeigh, no tea, <laughs> no uh, hobnobs or ginger nuts at the minute, or Earl Grey. We're on the we're on the beer tonight and the wine later. But Jerry McVeigh, uh, walking and wild camping in Ireland, absolutely amazing channels, compulsive viewing for me. So it is uh, an absolute gentleman. Funny, I was talking to you about someone with someone today. Or sorry. Right, today, yeah. It's Halloween, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we met uh, Miriam Kennedy 
another favourite uh, YouTuber of mine. Uh, Miriam was up the Karen Toho in the really, really bad, wet, windy weather. And uh, all the parts for you, love. That was a fucking amazing, amazing, amazing camp you had in that weather. A good test of the tent. No, I'll do that bit again. We actually met Miriam Kennedy, uh, who happened to be up in Toho, was coming down. But she spent the night up there in the really, really worst of the weather. Lashing rain, gale force winds, and survived to tell the tale. So Miriam, yes, Miriam Kennedy, with another sub. Uh, great channel, her channel has just skyrocketed this past few months. Not least because she's starting to talk now, but I know she doesn't like talking. <laughs> well, you wouldn't have thought that when she was chatting to us earlier, she wouldn't. No, 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 no. Well, I had her down as a school teacher, do you know that? Headmistress. There you go. Uh, another channel that I enjoy watching, uh, well, there's, there's just that many of them, so there's, uh, there's a new one for me is. Uh, Mind camping, mind camping or in Wales with a dragon or something. Wild <laughs> camping Ireland. Wild camping Ireland. Yeah, wild camping Ireland. Hey, camp Ireland. Yeah, you need to put a wee bit of original. How many wild camping Ireland channels is there? You need, to, you need to put a wee bit of a, your own personal stamp on it. You know, that's why I put Frozen Mist on. Um, why Jerry, I suppose, put on um, walking and hiking, or hiking and walking in Ireland. Hockey, walking and wild camping. Um, yeah. But yeah, so there's just a few uh, that I would watch religiously. Uh, I'd say there's loads of them, but I forgot to. But anyway, all subscribers who are supporting the channel, anyway, I lost five subscribers with that Halloween video I put up. Do you know that? would be the doll. Do you think that was the doll? Did that freak me yeah, out, did the it? Doll, the blood pump. Bit, bit, bit much, was it? Mm -hmm. Probably was. Anyway, I'm sorry if it offended anybody, but if you don't like the content, if it offended you, you have every right to unsubscribe, but maybe you'll come back. Who knows? But yeah, I get your message, you get your message, you get the point, yeah. Not everybody's cup of tea, but it's a bit of a laugh for Halloween. Because we haven't finished this night yet on Halloween, have we? <laughs> Right, well this stew's nearly ready, so we're going to uh, I want to tell you about the light I got sent to me from a company called Sol Firm. It's it up there. I'm going to do a proper review on it. Um, this 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 video is not sponsored by Sol Firm uh, or endorsed by them or monetized by them or any shape or form or anything like that. There, uh, they just sent me that wee light to have a look at there. I've been toying about with it for the past while. Well, since I came back to Sky. Uh, it's basically shining brighter than all our other lights put together, but uh, I'll rustle up a wee review uh, at some stage in the future, properly, you can have a look at it. But I mean, anybody with a fucking ounce of sense would realise the content that I produce is a clue when you see tents and in a forest. and So when somebody sends you curling tongs for review, I think it's a piss take. I mean, their, their marketing manager either made a big mistake or they're taking the piss. What do you think that? Could have been for you, yeah. Those long curls. But yeah, so we're going to kick back here, get this stew in this, and uh, it's supposed to say what we're going to do for the rest of the night. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, being Halloween and all that, you know, don't want to offend any more subscribers. Might go a bit light on this, but we'll see how it goes. Right, we're ready to dish out this here. Shumptious, shumptious maiden. Water? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Man, some ice panel, did you? Yeah. I'll drag Ben Morrison. Or maybe if there's somebody walking in the door here, Stu is still not ready, and of course I forgot one of my besties, Chris Monica Rose. <laughs> How could I forget you, mate? 
I'm looking forward to getting out in the winter with you. New trip, island trip, Loch Iron. Bring it on, by. Oh, there's lovely heat with that, so it's... Funny enough, we had great... Every time I fucking... Every time you what? My arse is still sore from that ram attack. Torch. <laughs> <laughs> well, that falls all that up. <laughs> it's not a game. Good morning, glampers. Slept like a baby last night. Despite the torrential and heavy rain, it seems to be a little bit brighter, although it's teeming a little bit. The view outside, front door, Onray River. I think it's time to get to get the coffee on and just as I speak it the rain's on again so we'll stick the kettle on there's my cup outside there it's soaked but soon dry out a quick look inside my setup in the Polish Lavoo it's a size 2 Lavoo uh, more than enough room uh, because I had brought the Outbacker, I knew that I didn't need my big sleeping bag. I just kept the Outbacker on a little heat all night. It was toasty warm. Uh, just used the 
uh, reindeer hide, a uh, little pillow, a uh, rucksack just sits there nicely, accessible all pockets for stuff that you may need in the middle of the night, and that space over there for sticks and kindling. Uh, yeah, so another idea I came across, I had a large um, fishing umbrella, uh, it was a tactical fishing umbrella, but it has a stake that goes into the earth's core, so it's not moving anywhere. And it's a good wee... The problem we had with the tarps was because of the winds, it was absolutely gale force winds in the night, torrential rain, and the little opportunity that we did get to film uh, was curtailed very quickly when the rains come in again. Apologies, I have a, I have a face like a whale scalped arse this morning. <laughs> but yeah, takeaways from a Polish lavoo. We're going to go going out into the wilds, uh, doing a bit of bushcraft, although we were doing a bit of glamping. <laughs> These tents, and I know it's cliché, but these tents are absolutely bulletproof. I've been out in all sorts of weather, in all sorts of tents. And a few of the tents, not all of them, but a few of the tents have, well, when subjected to the rain and the conditions that we have here in Kerry, will have leaked and there will have been water ingress through the bathtub. But this here, now it's an unmodified model of it. Unmodified lavoo. I haven't done any changes whatsoever since I got it. Uh, so there is room for little bits of improvement. It is completely and utterly soaked on the outside, but on the inside, it's just bone dry. It's really, really good canvas. And the best way, of course, to waterproof your lavoo when you get it is just pitch it in your garden and let it. Let it sit there, subject to the elements, subject to the elements, what on earth am I? To? Let it sit there and get rained on. Give it a really good soaking and let it just dry naturally. And the waterproofness, well, the way the canvas works, the way science works with the canvas and whatnot, you know, it will ensure a great waterproofness. I mean, in here, I mean, it's Baltic, or Baltic. <laughs> it's roasting in here and no need for a sleeping bag. Uh, the reindeer mat, the reindeer hide is my mat. So going real old school. But certainly with this here and the damper turned down a little bit, uh, it just gives you a nice steady glow all night. Uh, nice and warm. Caveat being, uh, make sure you have a little bit of ventilation uh, just in case of carbon monoxide. Uh, but I had the, the flap partially opened at the bottom. There's, a, there's pockets on either side, but they're, they are covered. Uh, you don't get much room at the bottom because it, uh, it pegs right down. But certainly uh, you'll get air in from there. But I normally bring carbon monoxide detector. It's entirely up to yourself. It's just a, another safety net. See how my cattle steering is getting there. Yeah, so it's a plenty of room. There's plenty of room for two. Uh, I'm laying this side of the outbacker. There's space on the other side for a mat uh, and another body. Uh, gear here, and I have gear down the side. I mean, I have camera gear here, so obviously uh, with a bit more than what you would normally be taking if you were just going out to spend a night or two in the wilds but yeah Polish Lavu great piece of kit uh, like hen's teeth at the minute trying to get them off military mart and I've heard stories of ridiculous prices being asked for on eBay and whatnot you know just basically because of the popularity of the Lavu community but my my goodness it is wet damp miserable outside grey and misty very atmospheric or, as Jerry McVeigh would say, shite. <laughs> but yeah, very, very atmospheric and moody. But certainly, um, in here, 
Yeah, it's bleeding. I already took these off out there, or put these on out because it was out earlier, flittering about, and making sure the rest of the camp was still here in the wind. <laughs> well, I never heard the wind. If I'd heard the wind, and if I had, if I had been wakened by the wind, I certainly would have recorded it. But head hit the pillow. Sorry about last night. I was just Ben's. Uh, Eight hour in the making stew. I tell you, I was ready for it, and only got various opportunities during the, the evening to to actually film because the rain came in, and then the tarps blew. Uh, no, don't talk about. But that's Kerry for you. You take what you get when you get here, and you sort of expect and work around it. But sitting here at the minute, the rain gently falling, roasting, roasting. Yeah, so we're going to get breakfast on then. We're going to think about packing up. Uh, I'm going to head into Clarney, get some breakfast. Uh, or breakfast, get breakfast here. We're going to head into Clarney, uh, refuel the van, uh, get some uh, Red Bull, and head the road, head up the road. I'm off for the rest of the week, uh, so I'm thinking possibly of trying to get another one in, maybe join it on with this one here because content wise, because of the weather it hasn't been absolutely perfect but we'll see how it goes. So that didn't take very long at all. Something very nice about sitting in a tent, listening to the listening to the rain on the canvas. Excuse me. So I don't know if I'm closing the vlog here or not. We'll see how it goes. Oh, that's a spot. But certainly. Uh, I wanted to get drone footage, etc. But <laughs> I put the drone up in this sort of weather, I'd never see it again. I'm still on my first drone, mind you, Marion. What are you joking? Easily done. Easily done. So, if this is the last part of the vlog, uh, You'll understand if it just stops. <laughs> uh, again, all subject to weather, but certainly um, I might try to get a, another location in and join on to this vlog. Uh, I'm thinking of Galway up towards Connemara, uh, but that's not definite. But we'll see how it goes uh, because once you get out and you have a few days to yourself, you do get that urge just to stay out. <laughs> But yeah, so if the vlog ends here, thanks very much for watching. Uh, sorry for offending those subscribers with that little Halloween post. Uh, it is what it is, time of year. Uh, and when Ben said he didn't like it, <laughs> so you know it's a bit of a cack up. But well, he didn't say he didn't like it, he said it was a bit disturbing, which I suppose, I don't know. I had a bit of wine that night when I was compiling it, so. But anyway, apologies, I suppose. Uh, last night's ramble was a bit of a drunken escapade, because uh, really uh, all we had left to do was, well, for us, camp craft is uh, a few cocktails of wine. <laughs> sure, where would you get it? All good fun. But yeah, Come back into the, the nitty gritty and the meaty part of wild camping. This is it here. In a Polish lavu, in the middle of nowhere, beside a river that's, that almost burst at banks, and there was a bit of a panic station on whether or not we could we'd have to strike camp. But certainly, uh, yeah, most enjoyable. Despite the weather, most enjoyable. As I say, the few bits of filming that I did do was just a window of opportunity because 90% of the time it was heavy rain and gale force winds but uh, you have to be prepared for that too
you have to be prepared for that too. So I'll sign off and as I say, this might be the end of the video or there might be a bit joined on. Although having said that, the bit at the end, and this particular one will be me at the Sconser Lodge Hotel videoing uh, Scotland, out and about in Scotland, uh, heading over to Rasse, Shannon Spike. So, on that note, I'll leave you and I'll either see you later or I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Um, look after yourselves, look after each other. God bless. See you on the next one. Where's my second lighter? There it is. Still recording. There you go.